Welcome to this episode of 8-Bit Simulation. There's only one way to kill a Metroid. In this episode, we'll use Autodesk CFD to run a heat transfer analysis on the different parts of a Metroid after it is shot with the ice beam. But before that, our video game challenge. Just beat my time running through the first door in Metroid for your chance to win. To begin, we'll start by modelling the Metroid in Autodesk Fusion 360. The one you see here was created using the Sculpt environment. Exporting this as a step file will allow us to open it in Autodesk CFD. With the model open, we will create an external air volume around the Metroid. We can now define material properties. The newly created volume will of course be defined as air. Knowing that the fangs of a Metroid are extremely hard, these will be created out of steel. The outer body of the Metroid will be silicon, and the insides will be made out of human materials. Ew. Next, our loads. Our velocity and pressure will be defined on either side of the air. The surfaces of the Metroid will be defined to have a temperature of 20 degrees Fahrenheit, representing the cold blast of the ice beam. Finally, the internals of the Metroid will have a heat generation applied. With that, we're ready to run the analysis. By adding a slice plane, we're able to investigate the results. As you can see, all of the Metroid is currently below freezing, but the internals are heating up. Pretty soon this Metroid is going to thaw out and be back for more blood. Next episode, we'll be taking a look at how these thermal results can be used in Autodesk Simulation Mechanical to calculate thermal stress. <laughs> 